All right, so we have this find all uh, widgets that uh, is uh, returning the list of widgets, but we need to map this uh, to a URL endpoint uh, so that the uh, client, the React client, can actually hit this right through an HTTP request. So let's uh, map this to a, uh, a get request. Uh, and uh, let's map it to uh, slash API slash widget. Uh, since we're not asking for any particular widget, then this just returns all the widgets. Okay. All right, so let's head over to the client side. And, uh, and let's see, we want to be able to load these widgets when the component loads, right? Uh, so let's see, where is the component that we want to render uh, with the list, widgets? All right, so it's this one right here. This is the widget list that when it renders, we want it to go out to the server and retrieve the list of widgets, all right? Uh, so, so the uh, stateless um, co uh, components like we have here uh, don't have a, uh, a, a, um, a uh, do not implement a particular interface or don't, don't implement any lifecycle uh, uh, functions, all right? It's just a plain function, right? It's a plain old, uh, it's using the new JavaScript syntax, but it's still just a function. Right, that just takes arguments and it's mapped to a, uh, a, a function body, right? Um, and it just ret is returning just this, this, uh, these divs over here. Uh, so, so to be able to use lifecycle uh, methods, right, we need to convert this into the uh, stateful right, uh, component. Right? So let's, uh, let's change this to a stateful component because we can then extend uh, the uh, React component Right? And then it can, it can implement several lifecycle methods, such as the constructor, um, uh, it, it did load, and things like that. Okay? Uh, we don't really care about the constructor. So let's, uh, let's convert this. Let's convert this to a, um, a class. Uh, and uh, since it's a class, Uh, we can have, uh, this will be a function, uh, I'm sorry, it will be a class, sorry. Uh, and let, we'll, we'll need to remember these in a minute, so I'm just going to comment it out. Uh, and this is just going to, is going to extend uh, a component, right? I don't know, do we, do we load the component? Okay, so the component is here. In the React library. And we're going to extend that. OK, there we go. So we're extending the component. And in here now, we can have a constructor. right? We can have a constructor uh, with properties. And we can do super props. Okay? Uh, and, uh, and this div really is part of the render function, right? what the render function is going to return. So this would be uh, render right? and then return. And then this would be the parentheses, and all this content, all this content would be inside of the return. All right, so we're almost there. All right, so we almost converted the whole thing. Uh, what else do we need? Let's see. Um, now, all these references, widgets, and, um, and this dispatch, and all those things are being passed to us as properties. Yes? So all these would really be what? This would be really this dot props dot widgets dot length, right? And this will be the same thing. This will be this dot uh, props dot widget, widget map. Uh, what else? Uh, and this also would be this dot uh, props dot dispatch. So all these things are being passed to us as properties. Um, let's see, what else? I think that's it. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, are we missing anything else? Let's see if this, OK, it looks like it's still working, right? We didn't break anything. Let's add. Okay, so this is still working, right? So, so we didn't break anything. All right, so what we'd like to be able to do is that on load right here, right when we are being constructed, right, we would like to immediately dispatch a, an event. We'd like to dispatch an action saying, hey, we, we, need, to, we need to load. Okay? Uh, and we can follow along. Here I have a, a set of slides that, uh, that document this a little bit, right? How to interact with React. Uh, how to integrate in React Redux uh, with web applications. So let's, let's talk about that. First, first of all, let's, uh, let's look at retrieving data from REST API web services uh, using our React component. Okay? 
so here's a generic uh, diagram, a sequence diagram that uh, shows what the what the steps are. Right. First of all, uh, the component will will load, right, the constructor, uh, and it will dispatch an action. Right. Uh, and, uh, and the dispatch mapper will map the 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 the, uh, the, um, the action creator will map it to the properties. Right. So it'll and it will pass it the dispatch function. Uh, and then that the actual dispatcher is going to use fetch, right? It's going to go and go to go head over to the database, right? Um, the REST API will will respond, and the fetch will will go will um, will will use the then function, right? To uh, to then uh, listen for the incoming uh, promise, uh, and once once the promise is uh, is resolved, uh, it will generate another action, right? It will dispatch another action. Right, but this time, a uh, one that is meant to be consumed by the reducer. Okay, uh, so whatever whatever comes back uh, from the server, we're going to map it inside of an attribute in the action, and then we're going to use it in the reducer. The reducer is going to create a state. It's going to copy the data from the action and then store it in the store. Right. Uh, once it's uh, done, uh, 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 this this propagates back to the uh, to the state mapper. Right, because the, it, it, the, the, the state has changed, the state has changed, uh, and then we can notify back the, uh, to the component saying, hey, uh, this is the data that came back from the, uh, from the, from the, from the server. Right, so let's, let's, let's uh, use this. Right, let's go through each one of these. For, first of all, we have, uh, we have the, uh, at the uh, widget editor, right, in this case. Uh, we're going to we're going to invoke a dispatch. We're going to dispatch an action. In this case, you know, find all widgets. Yes? All right. So let's do that. Uh, so here we're going to say this dot find all widgets in the props. All right, somebody passed us a reference to the find all, all widgets. Right? And we're just going to call it from here. All right? We're not going to do any of this work. Okay, even though it's stateful, we're not actually going to maintain any state. All right. Um, all right so we're going to we're going to call find all widgets. Uh, so that so we did that. Uh, now we're going to map the um, we're going to map in the in the mapper. We're going to actually map map that property find all widgets to an actual uh, function uh, action creator. Right. So so here uh, there's a mapper, I believe. Do we have a mapper here? Somewhere, um, we never created. Okay, we have a state to properties mapper, uh, but we never created a mapper for the dispatch. Okay, so let's uh, create a dispatch. Uh, so we'll do, we'll do uh, const. Uh, let's copy from here. Uh, dispatch to prop map. So ours is find all widgets. Uh, it's going to map to a function that actually finds all the widgets. So find all widgets. And it's going to pass it to dispatch. Okay. All right, so all right. So so we we we, we got that. Uh, we need to pass this dispatch mapper uh, over to the connect right here. Okay. So now it's connected. Now the properties are connected. Right. The 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 function call is connected to this function, which doesn't exist. This function doesn't yet exist. Uh, so let's create that function. Right, so, so here, the, that function is the one who's going to actually do the call to the REST, to the REST API. Right, so let's, uh, let's uh, copy it. Uh, so this function doesn't exist. Let's create it. Let's create it maybe up here. Uh, so, so this will be find all widgets, actually, find all widgets. Uh, and it's going to go out to the. It's going to use fetch to do a uh, fetch. Um, this is widget, right? That's that's where the server is listening at. Uh, it's going to have. I'm guess I'm missing a quote uh, uh, quote here. Let me fix that. Um, and uh, this, the server is going to respond with a, with a with a response. We're going to parse it as a JSON uh, object, and um, and then we're going to do another then. Uh, and then it's going to re retrieve from the body of that response the actual items, right? And what we're going to do with the items is that we're going to dispatch another action, right? This time it's going to be uh, find all items, and, uh, but part 
Notice that this is the action that we're going to generate, right? We're going to generate an action that has first the type of the action, which is find all, all, uh, all items, well, here we, widgets, and we actually pass the, the data as part of the action. See that? Uh, so in this case, it might be you know, find all widgets. Oops. You know, find all widgets. Uh, and the, here are the widgets with the jets. And these are widgets. OK? All right? Uh, OK, excellent. Um, so that means that now the, 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 um, the, um, the reducer is going to receive that action. Right? Needs to, needs to handle that. Uh, so we'll need to, now on the reducer, need to handle that incoming find all items. Uh, and what it's going to do is just going to, it's just going to take the, uh, the data that came from the server that's in the action, right? And it's just going to plug it into the, uh, the, the widgets property, right? And in a new, a brand new state, right? Uh, so let's do that. So in the, um, in the reducer, here in the reducer, we're going to have a new, a new case. So case is a uh, find all widgets. Uh, and in this case, it's going to be, it's going to return the, uh, the widgets. It's going to be what? It's, it's in the action, right? It's being passed in the action. So it's going to be action dot widgets. Uh, with widgets, thank you. Oh. Sorry, uh, with the jets. Oh my goodness, can't spell today. Uh, there, so that's a brand new state, right? And now the widgets, instead of having this initial state, uh, so we can, we can just say that the initial state is just empty, right? Because uh, anyways, it's going to be coming from the server. The server is going to tell us that it's empty, okay? because we have no widgets. Um, all right, so let's see where we are. Let's see if we broke it. Uh, length of undefined. Uh, with the jets, um, oh, this is too big. Uh, let's see, uh, length, um, did, we, did we get a, um, a response? Let's see what the network says, uh, the network. Are we hitting the server first? Let's see, widget. Uh, so it looks like it's uh, want to go to the server, but the server's complaining. Oh, cross RJ, thank you. Yes, let's uh, let's go back to the server, and I don't believe I'm even running. Uh, so let's uh, add a cross cross origin, and uh, origins will say that we want everybody. Oh, so we're accepting uh, uh, queries from anyone. Okay. Um, all right. So let's let's start this server now. Uh, so let's um, do I have main here? And so we can run this, run this as a Java app. And uh, uh, I'm not sure what database we're using. Uh, probably using the remote one. Um, actually, let me, let me point to a local database instead. Uh, let me open up uh, the um, resources. And uh, I'm just going to copy this. And I'm going to use um, as a uh, host. I'm just going to use local host. Uh, and the schema, um, web dev, summer one. Uh, username is root. OK, so let me start this again. To start. Uh, oops, uh, connection doesn't like the connection. What happened? MySQL on a web server. Okay, so it's not finding that database. Uh, let's create it in Workbench. Uh, let's create a brand new one. Um, uh, so this is a. Uh, uh, we'll use this local one here. Uh, and oh, I already had one. I guess we could have used that one. Uh, so let's uh, create a new one. So web dev summer one. So apply, 
and let's uh, try that again. So it's a brand new uh, database. It has uh, no tables. Uh, so let's restart this. Okay, so it looks like it uh, it didn't die on us. Uh, let's see if we if we created any any tables. All right, looks uh, like uh, it uh, created recreated all the data the data model right in there, plus our widget uh, that uh, should not have any widgets. So there are no widgets in there, right? Uh, so that if we hit the server, right? If we hit the server, uh, looks like uh, it went out to the widgets. Uh, it was okay, and it came back as as empty. Hopefully, okay. No widgets, right? There's no widgets in there, um, and uh, it's complaining that widgets length is a uh, property is undefined. Uh, and why would that be on the client? Let's see. State. Oh, okay. Because probably this needs to be uh, widgets uh, empty. Okay. All right. So zero. Uh, and uh, presumably there's a widget, in there, there are no widgets, that's why it's listing a zero. Uh, let's see if we can create, let's say insert a widget in here. Uh, and let's see if we can, um, we can test and retrieve that. So we will say insert, um, an insert. Where did I put it? Oh, did I say to the clipboard? Oh, uh, send to SQL editor insert. Uh, let's see. So this is um, uh, can I make this bigger? Okay. Uh, I don't need the ID. Uh, I'm just gonna uh, just for text. I'm going to insert uh, widget one. So widget one. Oops. I don't want to save it. All right. So let's run this. And presumably, as uh, it has uh, inserted, let's make sure. All right, so we have one widget. All right, so let's refresh our server, our client, and there it is. Right, so we have our first widget, ID number one, and widget one. All right, so now it's it's connected to the database. Right, so it's fetching the data from the from the from the widget when the component first loads. Right, uh, the interesting part will be uh, adding uh, new widgets, you know, posting new widgets. Uh, that, uh, that uh, uh, you know, for instance, a list of widgets, right? So that, that'd be interesting. Uh, so let's do that next. 